It's been 122 days, but today we're going diving. Feeling nervous, excited, deliriously tired after that drive, but oh, what a sense of relief to finally get in the water. Just gotta wait for Ben to show up now. It's been a while since I have seen you guys. Oh, seven mil today. It is March after all. New snorkel, look out. Testing something different. How long's it been since you've been in the water? Um, <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Stretching my hips off. Just got to get in there a bit. <laughs> um, well, last time we were here. Wet suit kind of still fits. What about yours, Ben? Yeah, it looks like it's fitting fine, doesn't it? Time to go. Visibility looks all right. Despite the water being eight degrees, it was surreal to be back diving. Hello, Scallop, my old friend. It's always a great feeling getting the first Scallop in the bag. Most people think this frilly part of the scallop are the eyes. However, that's not necessarily true. These are the tentacles and the eyes are nestled within those tentacles. I'll need a macro lens to show you properly next time. Not a bad start, three scallops that dive. A few more to go. Hopefully run into some flatfish soon, but I don't hold high hopes. The water's eight degrees. It's, it's pretty chilly, but so nice to be back in it regardless. Oh, it's been a long time. Once again, you never know what the ocean is going to bring. Lo and behold, a place. I try and retrieve my knife without spooking it. I touched it, but not quite quick enough. When you're looking for scallops, one thing that really gives them away is the white tentacles that form a crescent shape. This one was hidden under some seagrass, but the depression of sand around it gave it away. Another place. And another place. I really should have taken my gun with me on this dive. That is the third place that I've seen today and I've attempted to knife. Just not quick enough. Hopefully there might be another one. I didn't really anticipate to see too many fish today, so I didn't, didn't bring the gun out. Just thought I'd go for scallops with Ben. Between Ben and I, we had a lovely bag of scallops and it was lunchtime. It was a rather chilly dive this morning, eight degrees. The fingers were really feeling it. Both of our gloves were pretty useless but we did come up with something for lunch. So we're going to enjoy the sunshine and the freedom of being able to cook something by the beach. So we're going to make a little scallop pasta with chilies and tomatoes. I anticipate the water's going to take a while to boil on this little thing. So we'll get that going and I'm going to cut up all the other ingredients. While we're waiting for this to boil, I'm going to tell you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. 
Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn just about anything. Chances are if you're watching this video, you like spearfishing and most people this day and age wear a GoPro while they're spearfishing to record their dives. What happens to most of that footage? Nothing, because it just sits on a hard drive because I don't know how to edit. So if you want to take that footage and turn it into something you can show your family and friends, check out the plethora of classes on video editing on Skillshare. Like this beginner class from Halise Naves. These programs can be daunting at first, but taking a beginner class like this gives you the best foundation to build upon so you can edit those videos and you won't get frustrated because you won't have all these questions about what does this mean, what does that mean? You get the basics from the start and it sets you up really well to edit those spearfishing videos. Skillshare is specifically designed for learning, meaning there are no ads like this one and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So if you've got hard drives clogged with spearfishing footage, why not click the link and try and learn how to edit some videos and show your family and friends. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Anytime you cook pasta, you must salt the water. Rolling boil. How hungry are you? Hungry. What do you reckon about that? Maybe a bit more? Maybe a little bit more. Now it's time to chop up all the other ingredients. Time to get stuck into the garlic. I like to chop the garlic in four or six pieces depending on the size of the clove. I like to taste the chilli to see how hot it is before I add it to the dish, but generally there isn't a lot of heat in the tip of the chilli. Kind of more like a capsicum to be honest. A little bit there. Maybe the seeds will be better. Yeah, there, there it is, yep. <laughs> add the chilli, garlic and olive oil into the pan. Pasta is now al dente, so I'm going to set that aside. Fire up, jeez, fire up the Olive oil, chili, garlic. Now once these have got a little bit of color on the garlic, we'll add the tomato in and reduce that down. That adds a little bit more acidity to the dish. And then once they're reduced a little bit, scallops in. Simply halve the cherry tomatoes. Now it's time to shuck the scallops. Scallop, done this many a time on the channel, but for those that are new, over the top, flip the lid, then just a quick cut down there. Flip this back over the top of the animal and that will release a lot of that skirt away from the adductor. You can see the lovely big row that we have there and then a simple little slice with a knife releases it from the shell and trim those little bits up there, have the row attached, cut off the little grizzly bit on the side and there's our scallop and row. Just want to soften these tomatoes so the juice comes out a little bit. Just going to cut these up into more manageable pieces. Once the tomatoes have reduced down like this, got a bit of a sauce going on, time to add in the scallops. Normally you'd want this a little bit hotter so you get it seared, but this is what we've got today. chopped parsley to run through it at the end. Don't forget a good seasoning with sea salt and cracked black pepper. Two things. It looks terrible, but it's gonna taste good and save a little bit of parsley for the garnish on top. But to finish, lemon, lunch is served. What's that then, out of the sea and on the plate within an hour? Yeah, that is the way to do it, isn't it? They're really good. Nice but fresh scallops, nice chilli kick, lovely. Sure beats the hell out of the McDonald's that I was planning on eating on the way home. So thankful to be out today and actually making a video out in the water instead of my living room. Hopefully the living room saga of spearfishing videos is over. I really hope that doesn't come back anytime soon. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you want to grab yourself a t-shirt, diveoverair.co. See you on the next one. Oh, it's delicious. It is good enough. Yeah. That was so much better than the McDonald's that I was going to have on the way home. Mm. I reckon you still will. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably not wrong.
Are you a fillet of fish man? Yeah, I have one every now and then. 